I'm here with Art Amador, co-founder of Equibot. This is a company behind a new artificial intelligence exchange traded fund. And Art, the, the fund ticker AIEQ, it uses AI to pick stocks? That's right. So the high level concept is that we use artificial intelligence to mimic the investment process of an army of equity research analysts that are working around the clock, Scott. So you use IBM's Watson technology as a tool, but, but explain what that means. Yes, so about 90% of what we do is on um, IBM Watson, and the other 10% is on Google DeepMind. Um, the way to think about it, though, is that uh, those um, natural language processing engines, um, they're really a tool. And so Equibot has its own IP, its own algorithm, um, where we're applying deep learning, so that deep learning engine sits on top of the IBM Watson um, engine. Now, looking through some of the holdings of the ETF, of course, we have some hot tech names, NVIDIA, Alphabet, Facebook, Amazon, but also a real estate company, Forest City Ratner. So what is the criteria? You have a pretty diverse set here. Yeah, so we're, we're processing over... Um, yeah. Oh, we're processing over a million news articles and social media postings, regulatory filings, in order to identify uh, what are the best opportunities out there in the market. And so we're looking at 6,000 U.S. publicly traded companies. And so they have to have strong fundamentals. They also have to have uh, good sentiment around them. And there has to be information that's flowing out there that's going to impact uh, the prices of these, uh, these securities. And so uh, when you aggregate all of those things together, we believe that these opportunities are the best out there within the risk constraint of the portfolio, which is to mirror the overall volatility of the S and well, broader U.S. market or S&P 500. Okay, well, and you've been doing just that. I mean, the fund is largely flat year to date. The S&P 500 is negative. Why is this a better option than other ETFs, than perhaps the S&P 500? Because the expense ratio on your fund is, is rather high at 0.75%. Yeah, so the reason why it's better is because um, there's been an explosion of information. And so uh, I would say that S&P is better than traditional active management because traditional active management uh, can't process the amount of data that's occurring. So uh, there's been statistics say 90% of data out there was created in the last two years. So if you can filter through the, that information, um, and the only way of doing that is using the muscle of artificial intelligence, you can select um, some of the best companies within the S&P 500. You don't have to own the market anymore. You can have the best of the best all in one uh, diversified portfolio. How do robots or AI respond to the recent volatility we've been seeing in the markets, which for us human investors, right, that's an emotional roller coaster. Right. So, and that's why it's so important to look at so many different trading signals, right? So as I mentioned, we're processing over a million news articles and social media postings every single day. So if you filter through that information, you can find out uh, what's happening uh, at the micro level and, and how those events are going to impact uh, companies in various industries. All right, and just quickly, are you trying to replace human money managers? We are not trying to replace human money managers. Uh, we are evolving the investment process. Okay, we'll leave it there. Art Amador, the ticker is AIEQ. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.